Shape as they get it up past the 30. First and 10 at their own 34-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously possible. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last that didn't bother you too much last time? No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 12 yards there and a first down. The Vikings first down. And Rudolph has it, the tight end. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. And he's going to get across midfield and into Charger territory. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Third down. Cousins from the gun on third. Taking matters into his own hands, and he picks up four yards and a first down. When they watch film of this game and hand out the grade sheets, he's going to really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up a first down. But what else does he do? Protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit. Double plus, big time play. Draw play, Cousins to Cook. And he's corralled, but not before go, getting it go. inside the 35. On the 10 yards, and it's good for a Viking first down. After one, 7 0 on EA Sports. At the end of the first quarter, with the score Chargers 7, Vikings nothing. First down, here's Cousins. The throw complete to Beebe. A gain of six there on first. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. The Vikings on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. That'll be complete to Cook. And he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. Cousins hands to Dalvin. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Here's a throw out line complete to his running back right side. Nothing on the screen that time. Now it's third down. So nothing there on the screen that time. That means all that great acting they tried on offense went for naught, didn't it? Because you have to try and influence them. Make them think that you're doing something else. Make them think that they can get to the passer by letting them by and then setting up the screen and getting downfield. Didn't happen at all. Give a lot of credit to the defense for not tumbling to that one. The Vikings on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This will be third and six. To throw. Cousins. He may try and run for this. Eight yards that time. Able to take off, and the result is a first down. These type of plays are backbreakers for a defense. They thought they had him hemmed in. Thought they were going to get him on the ground with the pass rush, but were unable to do so. He gets away, picks up a big first down, and sets up first and goal inside the ten. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. They'll run with Cook, and he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there, and if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle, keep coming after them, put the pressure on them.
Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. They try again with Cook, and he will score. Touchdown, Vikings. Touchdown. Taking it in from seven yards. away and the Vikings are an extra point away from tying this thing up the and now they'll empty the backfield here as they elect to go for two Cousins and it's no good he misses the extra point, and this remains a 7-6 game. He was looking for his tight end there, Kyle Rudolph. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping the leverage, and communicating well, too. The Chargers take over first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here, first and 10 at their own 19 yard line. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. And that's incomplete. Any time a ball is thrown in the middle of the field, it's popped up in the air. I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. Back to the air. Herbert on second down. On the screen, this is Eckler. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. Try to pick up the first with Eckler. And it would appear he's going to be short of a first down as he stopped right around the 29. Only two yards, and it'll be a punt on their opening possession. A two-yard gain. It's fourth down. So in their own territory, but they only need a few inches, so they're going to opt to go for this thing. We'll see. Maybe a surprise pass or run. What will they do? We're about to find out. Fourth down. That's into the hands of Eckler. They only need few inches but still some anxious moments there but they do convert on fourth from the 34 now here's first and 10 two minutes remaining in this first half of football we remind you that coming up in two minutes time we'll hand you off to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action and that'll make it second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game. Trying to establish an inside run, run with toughness now. Hope they get to the perimeter later. Let's face it, you can do worse than a four-yard run on first down. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Full start there. That will set the offense back five yards. Brandon Lyman certainly clinched there before the snap. A good call. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. Herbert now. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. It's another first down as they look his way again, this time 19 yards. First and 10 at the 21-yard line. They go back to the ground now with Eckler. And a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. The ball carrier 
Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who can do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. From the gun, Herbert on third down. Allen has it, left side. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. A 29-yard attempt. just left of the upright. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. So the Chargers will start the second half with the lead and the football as we're underway in the third quarter. And we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback. The Charger drive about to get going. We have not seen much on offense from either side. These last few drives, it has been a struggle, hasn't it? Totally, and you're thinking to yourself right now, if you're on offense trying to get things figured out, okay, we sell scout every week in our game plan. How many things do we do at certain times? What are our tendencies? Time to go to some of those tendency breakers and try and create some offense. They always have those in their back pocket, don't they? You have to, and if you don't keep abreast of what you're doing, you lock into a rhythm and make it easy for the opposition. Looking for tendency breakers right now. Herbert on first down now. Trying to get to Williams, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Mike Hughes. And they will finally bring this run back to an end, but not before he's down inside the five-yard line at the four. That is just what this defense was hoping for, an interception on the opening possession of this third quarter. Obviously didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even farther behind, and we've gotten to know this team a little bit, haven't we? Couldn't you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys, telling the quarterback, don't worry, we got you to start things off. You take it from there. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Second and goal. Cousins. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Looks back to with Murray. And now have the football, but deep in their own territory as he's brought down at the five. Intercepted. Well, this is a defense that can confuse even the best of quarterbacks with their zone schemes. And here you've got a linebacker that's going to stay at home and just sit down in that zone. And this one basically comes right to him. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And he will take this up to about the eight-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. And they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. of the gun, Herbert. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly. And not the free. 
He's got a man. It's Williams. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A Charger first there as Herbert finds Williams. On first and ten, Herbert. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. On second down, Eckler. And that's going to be good for a Chargers first down as he gets this up past the 30. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. First down, and they stick with Eckler. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe it'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Justin Herbert looking to throw on second down. this one across the 45 before he's brought down 15 yards on the play first down here's herbert now they set up the screen that's complete and he'll lose yardage here back at the 41 a completion yes but certainly not what they wanted a loss of a full six yards so they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. A shotgun snap for Herbert. They'll find Williams on the slant. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 40. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. At the 40-yard line. territory now they'll come up first and 10 right at the 40 out of the gun Eckler running it three yards on the pickup there and it'll be second down sometimes with the running game you've just got to stick with it look it's the third quarter no time to panic but that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays but stay with the overall essence of the running game Second down, here's Herbert. Close left side, complete to Keenan Allen. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 26. 11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Running on first down, Eckler. He'll be tackled at the 23 after a game of three. That's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. 
And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. And that's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, short tackle. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Three-yard loss. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that'll bring up fourth down. A field goal gets them closer, but they say no thanks. We want the lead. Now the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They snap it to Herbert. No, it's complete. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. A gutsy call. Turns out to be a good one, though. First down on a pickup of 11. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. And he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the 9. The ball carrier. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety and being able to hit people with the run in the pass. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. It's Eckler again. Free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. He's Two yards the gain there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. Third and four. but I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. Anthony Lynn says now's the time. His guy's going on fourth down. Here we go on fourth. Herbert. this stage in the second half those are the types of plays you really want to try and stay away from and when you're a rookie keeping your focus is something that you still have to work on all the time because there's so many distractions around you between the crowd noise and your coaches and your teammates but the other part you've got to learn how to finish the two f's for a rookie quarterback he was trying to find justin jefferson there that'll bring up second down We've seen that the deep ball has been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. On second down, Cook. 
And a short gain here across the 10 to the 12. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Two-yard gain on the play. And it's third down. On third down, Cousins. Open man is Thielen. It's complete. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. They run it again with Cook. And this will be a Vikings first down as the tackle made here at the 36. Here on the tackle. It's a gain of 10. First down. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset. They come up on a first and 10, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Cousins now to throw on first down. Setting up the screen for Cook. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. So it goes as a completed pass, but they lose a full five yards. They go play action. Cousins. He's going to let it fly. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Casey Hayward. And that one, oh, it's going to hurt big time. You're in the two-minute drill trying to get your guys down the field, and it's looking like they're going to go up just short, as this is definitely not his best throw. And it'll wind up being intercepted. They started on the ground with Eckler. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. I don't think any of us were surprised that they decided to start this drive on the ground after the last two drives ended in interceptions. Unfortunately, though, not a lot going on on that first play. Yeah, I think the anticipation was felt also by the defense. Once more, here's Eckler. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Someone's got to make a big play, but what they mean is a game-altering play, a game-changing play, a turnover force, and we just got that. I mean, how about that play, Brandon? Yeah, a pick six, fourth quarter, that is a game-changer. Someone read their keys, and someone had the courage to go after the ball right then and there. And it gives them the lead. Chargers, seven. Do it again, buddy, do it again! Dan Bailey to kick off for Minnesota. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. Charger drive about to get going. They're down here in a one-score game. But the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences. 
And this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. They go over this type of a situation, late game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity? They've called these plays a bunch of times. Now's their chance to execute them. And they have the opportunity now. Here's the execution. And it's a right side here, complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Partner, they're clearly saving those timeouts, but they still have to work with some urgency to put themselves in the right position. <laughs> Herbert now to throw. Mike Hughes. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. And with just inside of ten seconds to go, they'll burn their final timeout. Nine seconds left. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Herbert. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this will be incomplete. One second left to go. Keenan Allen, the intended receiver. Third down here. Smith on the cover end. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. One last throw here for Herbert. He's going to let it fly. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. Chargers so going into the final play of this game. They knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. So long, everybody.
NFL is on EA Sports, and we're at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida. Just a short time ago, the Buccaneers emerging from their tunnel to the roar of this frenzied crowd here in the Sunshine State. And we're in the big ship, and fittingly, everyone here ready to do battle as Tampa Bay gets ready to match up with the Kansas City Chiefs. Harrison Butker to kick off for Kansas City. Harrison Butker ready to get it started. This should be fun. The Chiefs and Bucks are underway from Tampa. Takes this about five yards deep. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. Brady now on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Here 
Here's Ronald Jones, first carry for the USC man. Derek Nottie makes the tackle. And result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game, or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? Brady on third down. And the throw there going to be incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. The punt team on now as Pinion sends this one away. And a nice job here on special teams. This will be down inside the 10 at the 8-yard line. I absolutely love the flexibility of these punters. Their leg drive, able to get it way up in the air, and that allows their punt team to get down there and down it inside the 10 because they've had some time. Now a carry for the former Michigan State man, Le'Veon Bell. And a short gain here across the 10 to the 12. And Dominican Sue makes the tackle. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Second and seven. Working from the gun, Mahomes over the middle, and it's incomplete. Good coverage that time by Sean Bunning. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. Travis Kelsey. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. And the first down, Chiefs. From the gun, it's Mahomes. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. Broke a tackle, but not much room there ultimately. Just up past the 25 and no further. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. At the 27-yard line. From the shotgun, it's a give to Bell. And he powers his way up past the 30. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. Kansas City. They go play action here on first down. Flush to his right. He'll run it. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble. And it's second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. It'll be a three-yard gain, and all of a sudden here, it's third down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. The linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Oh, he faked it with a juke. Now he's got some room. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. First down, Chiefs. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Bell. Mahomes pass. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. It'll be a gain of nine, and that'll make it second and short. Out of the shotgun, it's Bell. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. Mahomes now on first down. 
And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. He was trying to get that one out to his running back out of the backfield, but that one was read and timed perfectly, and they were able to break it up. Mahomes again here on second and ten. This will be caught at about the six. And the Chiefs are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Four catches now on this drive alone. They can't stop him. It's another first down. They'll try to run with Edward Jalair. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Chiefs are going to take a first quarter lead. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. Harrison Butker to kick off for Kansas City. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. On the, return. the Bucks take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not pump the ball again. And incomplete. A drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. A first carry for Leonard Fournette. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And force the incompletion on first down, and you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Brady to Evans that time. First down, Tampa. Fournette running out of the gun. And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. He was tackled. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Brings up second and five. From the gun, it's Brady. And first hook up with his all-pro tight end, Rob Gronkowski. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, there it is, partner. Brady to Gronk. Their first connection of the game. You think those two often in sync? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's any question about it. And look, we know Gronk has a whole lot of fun, but he's deadly serious about his football, as is Tom Brady. Two great competitors, two fantastic players. Brady going to fake the give to Jones and set up to throw. This into the hands of his running back, Ronald Jones. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. It's a gain of 11, and the Bucs have a first down. At the 34-yard line. Brady going to throw. Quick slant to Brown. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. It's another Buccaneers first down. A shotgun give to Fournette. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. 14 yards. And the Buccaneers are an extra point away from tying up this football game. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of a season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks, 
is pretty impressive. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Looking to throw is Mahomes. A quick slant to Hill. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. 11 yards there, first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. They'll roll him out right. And going deep for Hill. And this is taken in at the five. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Tyreek Hill. 64 yards. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. Well, that's a heck of a response to regain the lead after we had seen the touchdown to tie the game. I would say what we just saw there was a great amount of poise because typically when teams tie the game up, it's a little bit of a, how would you say, you kind of kind of take a step back and have to get yourself regrouped. They regrouped in a hurry, didn't they? They attacked back after they'd been tied. And in a big way, that was a statement-long touchdown. And he's able to put it through. Score, Chiefs, 14. Buccaneers, 7. Harrison Butker to kick off for Kansas City. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Bucks take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. The Bucks' offense set to begin their next possession. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting him to shreds. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. 15 yards on the play, first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. At the 38-yard line. Shotgun now for Brady. Being chased out left. That's to his running back, Leonard Fournette. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. 12 yards there and a first down. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, he was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. That time, a little misdirection really seemed to fool the defense. And think of it this way. From the time you're in high school, you're taught to watch film and pick up tendencies. Sometimes they can use those against you, though, when they break their own tendencies and hit you back the opposite direction, huh? It's complete to Brown, right side. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. First and 10 at the 21-yard line. 
Now a first down carry by Jones. He'll get it inside the red zone, but only for a couple down to the 19. Chris Jones on the stop. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. His throw caught right around the six. And the Bucs are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. First and goal at the six-yard line. Now Jones. And the Buccaneers are going to have a first and goal. It's some good running there. Gets him down to about the two-yard line. Knock it on the door. And the Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Try to punch it in with Fournette. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. And the Chiefs are going to signal for and be granted another timeout. That's their second, so they'll have one remaining here in this second quarter. We'll be right back. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. The ball mere inches from the white line on third and goal. Well, look at this, a tight end carry. Now, he's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. This defense is really flowing around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Tom Brady hooking up with Mike Evans there. And the Buccaneers are an extra point away from tying up this football game. And now Coach Bruce Arians has made the call. His guys will go for two. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And unable to connect, they don't get the two-point conversion here. So unable to throw it in for two from the two. Let me ask you, as a former DB, what changes there around the goal line on a two-point conversion as far as how you're defending it? You just make sure you never back up and you never retreat. You establish yourself really out of the line of scrimmage, put your heels on the goal line at worst. If they're going to throw the ball, make them throw it over your head because they're going to run out of space because of the back of the end zone. Never let a guy catch one in front of you. And they'll run the option to start the drive. And down he goes. A bucket air sack. Carlton Davis speeds in for the sack on the corner blitz. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage. Not a great start. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. On play action, it's Mahomes. Gets this one to Hill. And they'll get him down here at the 23. Complete to Tyree. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed. A fight for the football, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jordan Whitehead, and his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. At the 30-yard line. So after the INT, it's Brady airing this one out for Evans. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Well, defensively, you're over there trying to catch your breath and try not to show the offense that you're a little bit fatigued. You're right back out there after the turnover. Now they've got to work towards getting another couple of stops and forcing them into at least a long field goal situation. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Now Leonard Fournette. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. That one good for 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. 
back to the ground, this time with Jones. And I think they stopped him again. They did at the one-yard line. No Officially, it's no gain on the play, and they'll remain a few inches shy of a first with third down looming. And Evans calls it in. Touchdown, Bucks. Mike Evans with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bucks are going to retake the lead. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. So what can Brady do here is he'll lead his guys up to go for two. Now a play fake, Brady. And they don't get it. They tried for the two-point conversion there, but unsuccessful. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us, because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation. This time, unsuccessfully. I just wonder if maybe running the ball might be the way to go. With it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I, I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. Flushed out right. He'll try and run it. Mahomes hit. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. A fumble on the play. Recovered by the Bucks. Now after the fumble recovery, it's Brady. Now looking for Godwin, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Charvarius Ward. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Charles, I'm looking at you, and understandably, your mouth is wide open in disbelief. What were they thinking? That's going to be one of the great mysteries, but I do know this. When they went out on offense, I will guarantee they told them, don't just make anticipatory throws. Make sure you see it before you throw it. Didn't happen here. Trying to protect that lead, and now they gave it up. Extra point right down the middle, and the lead is now two. And they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds, so really good starting field position up past the 40-yard line. The Buccaneers in good field position here to start out first and 10 at the 41-yard line. The final shot before half for Brady. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Bradley Indian to kick off for Tampa Bay. Both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? Taken in the end zone, and the half will begin with a touchback. Won't you get down with me, down with me, down 
Sinatra flattling mama to the moon. She asked me, what's my life path? Told her 55 south to the cat. So many couches I crashed. Shout out Zaza, G3, and Shout Classy. I know you really want to be my only one, but I need somebody to NFL is on EA Sports, and we're at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida. With the echoes of cannon blast still ringing in our ears from the north end zone, the Bucks were introduced a moment ago, and they are all set as their guys will do battle with the Kansas City Chiefs. Here's the punter Bradley Pinion on to get us started, and off we go from Tampa. Fielded in the end zone, and they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. something to a game plan when trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed you do so send him deep try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield on that play they run successful now that'll be tipped and intercepted picked off by Ross Cockrell and nearly a touchdown as they finally stop him down at about the three yard line he had his eyes on the end zone. He got close. At least he set the offense up nicely, but he's probably mad he didn't take that one to pay dirt. I agree with you, and you know he's going to get teased because he didn't get it all the way into the end. And he holds it in for the Buccaneer touchdown. Antonio Brown there to make the grab. And the Bucs have taken a first quarter lead. Well, that's how you take advantage of an early turnover. A sudden change situation, meaning ball's turned over. How's both sides going to handle it? One side handled it way better. They went right out on the field and put the ball in the end zone. One play, that just added insult to injury. Yeah, that just tells you on the defensive side, they didn't come out ready to go, still reeling from the fact that the ball got turned over. At their own 33-yard line. The Chiefs' offense about set to begin this drive. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Brings up second and 11 at the 32-yard line. The loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Here's Mahomes to throw. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. He certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Throwing is Mahomes on third. He'll buy some time right, and that's going to be incomplete. The coverage, too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Well, they've moved the ball okay here in these first two drives, but this one's going to get them out to nothing. They've got to start dialing up some plays 
that allow them to finish drives with points. Stylish masterpiece, body, body, young. See my jewels, shining, shining, white diamonds, Miley Cyrus, private jet, private pilot, look at me, stylish, stylish, masterpiece, body, body, young, hey.
be irresponsible without your money or not. Thought he had a plan, but we gon' foil his plot. Heard him sneaking in, so we just ran in the spot. And then we spin the block around just like the hell on the clock. Are you irresponsible without your money or not? Thought he had a plan, but we gon' foil his plot. Heard him sneaking in, so we just ran in the spot. And then we spin the block around just like the hell on the clock. Come like a bat of the hell, I dare you to cross like a reverend. And my energy paralyzed, I'm like a finger 11. Take a second, I'm finna send it like a bear in a mess. You're the best. If it ain't me, then you need you a confession. You a mess. Uh huh, you ain't scary to me. I heard you was a leader, but that ain't a bear to me. Put dust on you, a cheetah, run up there, I'm airing the scene. And I feel just like Vegeta Prince, and I'm an heir to the seat. I mean, for real. Test the driver's soul so I don't even grab the wheel. That's a lot on my chest, but it don't mean the man is stealing. Mean I'm walking with some money, man, I mean a couple mil. <clears throat> Ew, think you need a mail. You ain't even eating while I'm feasting in the field. That's why I'm always cheesing, cause I feel like Uncle Phil. And all this loose things, the first but ain't half the man as well. Are you irresponsible without your money or not? Thought he had a plan, but we gon' foil his plot. Heard him sneaking in, so we just ran in the spot. And then we spin the block around just like the hell on the clock. Are you irresponsible without your money or not? Thought he had a plan, but we gon' foil his plot. Heard him sneaking in, so we just ran in the spot. And then we spin the block around just like the hands on the clock. You like the hands on the clock, I go back to bat when I'm doing numbers. All the mad that I'm driving the bus, so they threw me under. Heard they mad, they don't wanna bust, so they boo each other. Think that they're the winning team, go losing, then they choose another. And that's okay, cause I'm competing with me, not you. I live with blessings like I can't stop sneezing, not you. I hate to break about me and myself, top two. I blow away the competition like a ball of hot soup. And there's no catch. I go and get the bag, and I'm not bringing it back. I'm like a down QB, I put the pain in the past. And if you ever had a problem, promise I didn't ask. So it's four, four, four. Four in the car, my dash. I shake a big total mall. You went first, you last. Little boy, that's facts. I'ma throw that cash to my money. <laughs> Head to toe designer, designer, drill, little bit, little bit, little bit. Uh, let me feel myself a little bit, little bit, little bit. Lil you ain't talking big, big. get out my way, little bit. Way, little bit. I can't hear the hate, got a lot of it. Lot of Take it. these bands to the bank, let them rot in it. So much ice on me, I wish I had two necks. I got homies that can sleep without two. I got homies that can sleep without Gucci and Chanel, I got a lot of it. Walk up in the spot like, hey, what poppin' in? Gon' pop it for me, cause I'm rich and poppin' in, yeah. Drip, little bit, little bit, uh, let me feel myself a little bit. Little bit, little bit, you ain't talkin' big, get out my way, little bit. She gon' put it on me, that's a lot of it. Four coops, four season, drop the top of it. Bust down, but my wrist, time to talk a lot of I got both my girls, head to toe, designer, designer. Drip, little bit, little bit, uh, let me feel myself a little bit. Little bit, little bit. You ain't talking big. Get out my way, little bit. What's the LA, that where you find me though? Cha cha macho with a t rocking black clothes. Whip around that Batmobile, ducking 5 0. If you step to me, then be prepared for smoke, little bro. Uh, let me feel myself a little bit. Uh, let me blow this down a little bit. Drip. Little bit, little bit. Uh, let me feel myself a little bit. Little bit, little bit, you ain't talking big. Get out my way, little bit. The NFL is on EA Sports, and we're at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida. Just a short time.
Yeah.